The employee retention credit from the IRS is the last major COVID relief program. Claim up to $26,000 for each employee you had on payroll. This is Marty Stewart with Disaster Loan Advisors. The IRS tax refund is newfound money for your business. Let us help you navigate the ERC program with flexible options and working together. You can relax and have peace of mind that you're in good hands. Stay safe, stay compliant, and keep more of your refund. Take the next step and schedule a free ERC consultation call with us today. Employee retention credit refund check status. The Internal Revenue Service, IRS, hasn't hidden the fact that millions of tax filings, including payroll tax reports, are delayed. The big demand for employee retention credit refund claims is one of the causes of the backlog. This has left many businesses waiting longer than planned for their refund. This has caused confusion in businesses regarding the status of the ERC refund. Business owners want to know the refund status of their employee retention tax credit and stay updated with the process. Employee retention credit refund check status. Due to changes in COVID-19 safety regulations and a surge in employee retention credit refund claims, the IRS is presently dealing with millions of unprocessed payroll tax returns. According to rumors, the IRS may also handle 2020 payroll refunds ahead of the latest payroll refunds. To check on the status of your refund, call the IRS at 877-777-4778. Due to a shortage of operators available to take phone calls, your on-wait time may be exceptionally long. It will be more advantageous to go to the IRS website for additional COVID-19 newsroom updates. The IRS had previously stated that refunds would be issued between six weeks to six months after the updated payroll reports were filed. You should now plan for a turnaround time of 9 to 12 months. The IRS processes return in the order in which they are received. As a result, reimbursements from 2020 and earlier will be handled ahead of 2021 returns. If you have any questions, you can call the IRS at 1-800-829-1040. 877-777-4778 is the phone number. When you call the IRS phone number, you will be put on hold for a very long time. Employers are not required to take any more action, according to the IRS. Employers are even asked not to contact the IRS regarding the status of their refunds, according to the IRS. How do I check on the status of the employee retention credit? You can call the IRS at 800-829-4933 to check the status of your refund. To switch between English and Spanish, press 1 or 2. Press 3 for employment tax after you've chosen your preferred language. You'll now have to wait in line to speak with an IRS agent. Because there aren't enough agents to handle all of the calls, you may anticipate remaining on wait for 30 minutes 60 minutes. Your hold time may be significantly longer depending on the time of day. It is preferable to contact the IRS by 8 a.m. Eastern Time to save time. When speaking with an agent, explain that you are contacting to inquire about the status of your employee retention credit, specifically if your 941X amended returns for all relevant quarters has been completed. Please be aware that the IRS will need to verify your identity and will need your full name, relationship to the company, federal identification number, postal address, year of formation, and the kind of tax return filed for the firm, 1120-1120-S-1065, etc. Employee Retention Credit Payment Status As per IRS, there seem to be around 2.4 million processing Form 941 applications and approximately 1.4 million unprocessed Form 941Xs of November 17. 2021. Additionally, the IRS has said that all Form 941 will be processed before processing Form 941X. How long does it take for the ERC refund to arrive? The IRS was previously expecting to provide refunds between six weeks to six months after the revised payroll reports were filed. You can expect a 9 to 12 month turnaround time for a refund to arrive. Employee Retention Credit Refund Timeline Congress approved the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act on November 5, 2021, which advanced the termination of the credit to October 1, 2021, rather than January 1, 2022. Employee Retention Credit Refund Timeline is such that the IRS was originally scheduled to give a refund between six weeks to six months after an updated payroll report was filed. Even this large window appears to be hopeful now. Plan on a 9 to 12 month turnaround time currently. How long does it take to get the employee retention credit? When you add in a worldwide pandemic, huge logistics, supply chain concerns, and employee shortages, it's difficult to predict when the backlog will be cleared. According to the IRS's most recent information, the revised Form 941 that has already been submitted could expect a refund between 6 and 10 months from the date of filing. 
Those who are just filing now or who have already filed may have to wait up to 16 months or longer for a refund. Large refunds above $1 million may face further delays as a result of the additional examination necessary before they can be given. How long are the employee retention credit refunds taking? Your refund will be determined by how you file your tax return. The quickest option is to file your return online and receive your refund by direct deposit. Most taxpayers who choose this option receive their refunds within 21 days after submitting their 2021 taxes, which will be submitted in 2022. That implies your refund will arrive in your bank three weeks after the IRS accepts your tax return. It might take several days for your bank to make the funds available to you. When to expect the employee retention credit refund? The IRS disclosed the source of the delays, as well as the condition of the backlog, towards the end of May. The following are the two primary culprits. 1. The IRS's processes for dealing with COVID-19 safety requirements, including working remotely, and 2. The overwhelming number of refund requests. The processing is for Form 941, the quarterly tax return for employers, and Form 941X, the modified federal tax return or refund claim for employers. The IRS has said that they are finally opening their letters in a timely manner. Nonetheless, the new processes, along with the high amount of requests, have resulted in a lengthy backlog. The Internal Revenue Service is attempting to speed up the process. It is rerouting tax returns from IRS offices that are behind schedule to others that have more staff, for example. Returns are processed in the order in which they are received by the IRS. Employers are not required to take any more action. According to the IRS, employers should not contact the IRS regarding the return status, the IRS said. The Internal Revenue Service is redirecting tax returns and taxpayer interaction from locations with inadequate personnel to others with more. They're also taking additional steps to reduce the time it takes to process returns and refunds. The IRS is working hard to clear the backlog of tax returns by processing them in the order they were received. To sum up, businesses should not expect employee retention credit refund anytime soon due to the many delays as disclosed by the IRS. When will the employee retention credit checks mailed? When you return your employee retention tax credit paperwork to the IRS, it takes six to nine months for them to issue you a check or an email stating that you do have a payroll tax credit. So it's a long time. With the end of November, tax season is approaching. It is believed that if you file for the retaining employee's tax credit during tax time, you'll have to wait longer because the IRS will be quite busy with their usual job. If you're interested in applying for the employee retention tax rebate, it is recommended that you do so today. Despite the fact that one of the ERC's goals was to offer funding to offset employee expenses and hence keep employment, the unavoidable staffing deficit means that firms will not get the payments until far after the crisis has passed as well as there is a further delay in ERC mails. Why is the employee retention credit refund delayed? The Internal Revenue Service may take 6 to 10 months to evaluate applications for a popular salary benefit designed to keep workers on the payroll amid the COVID-19 pandemic. As per company owners, auditors, and payroll suppliers, the pauses are caused by IRS delays and government policy changes, forcing firms wanting to claim the working tax credit to delve deeper into reserves and prolonging their recovery. In four to five weeks, the returns that we were able to file online received their first quarter payments. Because of the restrictions, the updated returns had to be sent via mail. These were supposed to take four to five months, according to the IRS. The IRS stated at the end of May that the two primary perpetrators were changes to IRS procedures addressing C-19 protocols, such as working remotely in the overwhelming volume of refund requests. As per IRS, in addition to several businesses in the United States, COVID-19 has impacted the IRS, causing service delays. The IRS has experienced delays in processing mail, tax returns, payments, refunds, and correspondence as a result of these delays. As a result, many firms which registered for the ERC have received a tax return that is longer than expected. IRS Employee Retention Credit Phone Number You can call the IRS at 800-829-4933 to check on the status of your refund. Press 3 for employment tax after you've chosen your preferred language. You'll now be in line to speak with an IRS representative. Your hold time is likely to be between 30 and 60 minutes due to a scarcity of agents available to take calls. Your hold time may be significantly longer depending on the time of day. 
It is preferable to contact the IRS by 8 a.m. Eastern Time to save time. Conclusion and summary on the Employee Retention Credit Refund Check Status. The IRS, like many other businesses in the United States, has been hit by COVID-19, which has caused service delays. As a result, many businesses that registered for the ERC refund have been waiting longer than expected. To check the status of your refund, you can call the IRS at 877-777-4778. However, because of the big demand and the few agents available to answer phone calls, you might not get a quick response. Or you can check the official webpage for the latest updates about the status of the Employee Retention Credit Refund. As you can see, navigating the Employee Retention Credit Program is very complex and confusing to try to figure it out on your own. Even on the IRS ERC FAQ pages, it says this page is not current. There have been several years of updates and changes to this IRS tax credit already, including four congressional acts and five updated guidances from the IRS, totaling over 3,900 pages. Who has time to sift through all that information, let alone decipher some of the confusing language and rulings? In order to stay compliant with current IRS ERC rules and regulations, expert specialized help is highly recommended. Even if your business received an SBA PPP loan, you are still eligible for the ERC credit. If you think you may not qualify, it's worth a conversation to see if your business does. Let us assist you with a complete employee retention credit process, or if you might be stuck on filling out the IRS 941X forms correctly on your own. We are here to help. Stay safe, stay compliant, keep more of your refund. Email us at support at disasterloanadvisors.com or call us toll free at 877-463-9777 extension three or visit us on the web at www.disasterloanadvisors.com forward slash ERC for complete details on the Employee Retention Credit Program for your business.